Welcome to Printronics Today, I'm Terry Whitmire, and today we're talking printheads. So now let's talk about replacing the thermal transfer printer printhead on a Printronics printer. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the top cover of the printer, reach behind the printer, and I'm just going to power the printer off. I'm going to leave the, the uh, printer powered off now, and now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the, the printhead assembly. And in our case, we don't even have to remove the ribbon to change the printhead. We're going to actually just move the ribbon aside. And that gives us free access. The other thing to be aware of, too, is remember we talked about uh, uh, blue touch points. Well, we have two blue touch points here that we're going to touch to release the printhead. And they, they are behind the printhead assembly. So I'm just going to lift up on the rear one and lift up on the back one. And what happens is now the printhead assembly is completely exposed. The uniqueness of this printhead assembly is I'm removing them one connector at a time. The power connector, the data connector, and the sensor connector. And there is the thermal transfer printer printed. I want to point a couple things out to you. This is actually the ceramic material on the printhead, and it needs to be cleaned every time that you've handled the printhead, like I'm replacing it now. My hands have oil on, the fing on my fingers, and they'll transfer to the printhead, and we'll clean that with an isopropyl I, a pet pen that I'll show you later. So anytime you're handling the printhead, either replacing it on the Printronics printer or touching the printhead when you change a ribbon, you'll need to clean the, the, the printhead. I want to call out a couple other unique things. You can see these two, two uh, uh, adapters on each end. And basically what happens here is when we install the printhead, this printhead actually locks over the platen roll, assuring that the printhead is completely aligned to the platen roll. And that's going to be important when I talk to you about how we replace the printhead on the Zebra printer next. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get a new printhead out of a box. The printheads come to us in a box. They are, they are uh, electrostatic material. It's packaged. And we'll, we'll just go ahead and remove that out of there and uh, bring that printhead back out. And what I've done is, uh, since the power is off, I've already grounded myself when I remove the printhead. So to ensure that there's no static for me that's going to transfer. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to reconnect uh, my connectors again. And I just reverse the connection from my, my upper sensor connector to my power connector to my data connector. And then I'm going to reestablish the printhead by lifting up on my blue tabs. I normally grab the feet of the printhead, just shake it to make sure it doesn't fall out. And then I reinstall my ribbon, roll it up, close the printhead, and power the printer back up. Now if we look at the front panel again of the printer as the printer is powering up, you'll actually see the printer will actually display what resolution printhead is being installed. And the uniqueness of that from a Printronics perspective is that the printer, we can interchange the printheads on the device. So today this is a 203 dot per inch printhead. And when the printer powers up, you'll see it says 203 dot per inch printhead installed here in a second. But we can also put in a 300 dot per inch printhead in the printer. So there's 203 DPI head installed. So it tells the operator right away what printhead is installed. Uh, and we can interchange them. That's the uniqueness of the Printronics printhead solution. You noticed that I didn't have any tools there. I used my bare hands. No tools required, no adjustment required, and I was able to replace the printhead in less than a minute. Go to the diagnostic menu of the device. So once I've changed the printhead assembly, I can go to this setting and actually reset the odometer. And if I go back to my head distance, now is zero inches, just like the down in my car. So now that's a good tool because it allows the operator then, they can actually check the printhead life. So that's what we talked about today, changing the printhead on a Printronics thermal printer without any tools, just my bare hands. So next thing we'll talk about in a few minutes is how do we do it on a Zebra printer.